Cars 2 is a very controversial film, and that's an understatement. But me personally, you know, everything else held constant. I love the World Grand Prix, and I wish we got more World Grand Prix racers. Why, you may ask? Well, they all have unique paint jobs, and they all have unique models. Well, I guess except for these ones, but these are different. But seriously, though, I mean, Rip Klitschkonski, you have Carlo Veloso, just so colorful, so unique. And yeah, I would have actually liked if some of those characters actually spoke in the movie as well. So much wasted potential. I think they spent too much time on the espionage, spy stuff, when they could have been, you know, doing some World Grand Prix stuff. But it is what it is, that was a long time ago. In fact, it's over 10 years ago now. So anyways, guys, welcome to chapter 21 of Forlorn Favorites, AKA chapter seven of season two. And that means this is the halfway point because there are 14 chapters in my season. So thank you guys for tuning in and let's get going. I'll put a picture on the screen of where he appears in the Swedish version of the film. Yeah, this is Flash, by the way. I forgot to say, but we're reviewing Flash today, and I'll explain why I think he's a little forgotten in a couple moments here. But as you guys probably know, in a localization effort for Cars 2, and they do this with a lot of movies like Planes as well, they'll substitute like an American or like the kind of staple character that, you know, is a cameo and put in that specific country's cameo. So like Jan Nilsson, or as they call him, Flash, was a very successful racer. You know, he was in the Swedish car, touring car championship. He's like the third most victorious driver. At least that's what I read. He's a big deal, you know. He won in 96 and 97. And so they asked for his voice to voice Flash in Cars 2 in the Swedish version of that film. They did the same thing with the Mexican, Russian, Australian, Chinese, German, Brazilian, Spanish, and yeah, that was it. I'm pretty sure I got all of them there. And Mattel, for the 2012 Super Chases, released five of those country-specific racers. The only one they didn't release was Fernando Alonso for the Spanish version of Cars 2, but I did review him. I have a custom of him, and I'll leave that link in the description below along with the card suggestion pop-up in the top right-hand corner. But yeah, I think this guy is the most forlorn World Grand Prix racer ever. Close to it would be Memo Rojas Jr., who is the Mexican racer. And I just feel like this guy just gets so forgotten because one, he's very similar to this Factory Custom Lightning McQueen. And when people see Factory Custom, you know, they don't give it as much credence. They don't give it as much thought because they think, ah, that's got to be fake or something. And also, all five of these have been mass produced as Factory Custom fakes, which kind of really just ruins the whole concept of Super Chase because a lot of people struggle to determine which one's real. They even made fakes in the package. It's a whole mess, in my opinion. It's really a topic for a video in and of itself, like how the Chinese factory workers ruin the 2012 Super Chase line. I'll rant about that some other day. But he's such a unique design, you know. And all three of these other guys got much more attention. Like Frosty, obviously, he got released, you know, in the ice, neon, carbon, series exclusive to Australian targets. Vidaly Petrov was released as an ice racer. And Longe, I don't know, he's in the video game. He's in that one video game. The car is, I think, what's it called? Light, fast as lightning for the phone that's now not even available anymore. So that's my explanation. I just think Flash is one of the most forlorn racers. Or, you know, he actually is, in my opinion. So we're going to take a closer look at him here. He was actually the first one released in 2012 in a twin case that also included Officer Murakami and Becky Whelan. A lot of people found that at Big Lots during the terrible year of 2012 in terms of distribution. As you can see, you got the three crowns there from the Swedish flag or kind of like Swedish culture. I'm not going to pretend to know anything about like Swedish culture or government, but I'll do my best to help explain it to you. 
but it's a really cool design and I love that he's like blue and yellow because it seems like all these other guys are just red. I mean, it's kind of a, you know, blanket statement, but three out of the five are red and I don't know, just too much for me. That's why they all kind of blend together. Got the nice headlights there, grill, gray rims, and he's got these stripes that cross here and got the crowns again. Looks really cool. Just knocked down a tree. By the way, I put the trees up because as per usual, no matter what, iPhones do not like blue items and they get wonky a little bit when you focus in on one. I like how they put the gray on the side there. It's nice contrast, but overall, Disney and Pixar didn't take too much time in developing these racers. A lot of them, like I said, are the same model, except for Fernando Alonso. They don't have numbers or decals. And that's, you know, it makes sense. They were just trying to, you know, they were going above and beyond already by doing the localization effort. So I didn't expect them to put too much work into these. Here is that Swedish Lightning McQueen factory custom that pretty much copies the same exact design. They added the flag in there though, but you got the crowns and it's pretty much the focal point of Flash's design. Also want to compare him to Max Schnell here, who is kind of the foundational model for all of these super chases, which is why when they, you know, 2012 was the first year for super chases and these all came out and I was like, really, these are special. They're all the same model. It's kind of boring, but I have grown to really appreciate them. They're all kind of rare nowadays, believe it or not, especially Frosty. Long gay really isn't, but again, be careful. Be very careful when you're buying these because there are a ton of fakes out there. Now, I'll kind of tell you guys how to avoid that in a moment here. But first is this Disney Store Ice Racer version of Flash, which is just gorgeous. Although the decals are terrible quality, as you can see there. But the Disney Store did add a number for him. So he's 15. Put the Ice Cup logo there. But anyways, you can easily tell when they're loose. Just ask for a picture of the base. It should look like this. You should have the date stamp in the middle. It should say made in China. It should have all this gobbledygook down there. And overall, just look at the quality of the car. By the way, I like that they added that on the back. Like if it's good quality, it's probably real. But if it's kind of nasty looking, got some chips, do the eyes look a little weird? It's probably not then. Now, if it's in the package, all of the Super Chases from 2012 were slanted in their packaging, except for Flash. So it's very difficult to tell with Flash. But with Frosty, Longay, Vidley, Memo, they're slanted. The real ones are slanted. The fake ones are straight, just like that. So that's the telltale sign. And also in my experience, a lot of the packages tend to be damaged. They, the glue doesn't hold up as well. And if you guys still don't know, feel free to message me on Instagram and I will help you out. I don't want anybody to be misguided. It's really a shame how they ruined this whole line here. These are all real. I actually opened all of these up from the packaging, which probably was a mistake. I probably should have kept them all packaged and then bought the fake ones to, you know, display because I mean, albeit quality is a little worse. They tend to look very similar. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching chapter 21 of Forlorn Favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I was really debating, like, I kind of wanted to review Frosty because he has that it factor to him. You know, he's Australian. He's the best of the bunch. You know, the most popular. Got all those variants. But then I was like, he's got all those variants. He's not forlorn. And this isn't, you know, literally the series is forlorn favorites. It's not favorites. So I had to review Flash. And you know what? He's my second favorite out of all five of them. So he's popular to me. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next Friday for another chapter. Bye now.